Hey, hey, what's up, chicken pickers? It's Vinny for PowerTwang.com. So today's lesson is based around the classic country tune, Rock My World, Little Country Girl from Brooks and Dunn. Uh, this was actually a request, so I thought, hey, we'll go ahead and cover this one. Uh, but if you like this type of lesson, I got plenty more where that came from. If you just uh, follow the link down here in the description box, got plenty more free videos that you won't find here on YouTube. So uh, go check it out. Okay, so basically this, uh, this little uh, honky-tonk classic is uh, in, the key of, in the key of E. Um, it has the little intro riff, or lick, and then when it goes into the, um, the main riff, that almost kind of reminds me of like an old um, CCR uh, tune. Uh, but basically how it starts out, Again, it's in the key of E, so we're really working out of the uh, E minor pentatonic scale. And um, basically how it's going to start out is you're going to slide up to the, on the high E string to the 7th fret. And then you're going to pull off from the 7th to the 5th to the open string. And then you slide in on the third fret, or I'm sorry, um, on the second string from the third fret to the fifth fret. But you want to kind of like, when you pluck that or pick it, you want to actually try to hit the, the open E string as well. So that first part is. And again, you want to try to get the open E string in there, but hey, if it doesn't happen, as long as you get the E note there at the fifth fret, should be good. Now we can basically kind of do the same thing, but what you're going to do for this next one is you're going to um, slide in on the third fret of the second string from the third to the fifth fret. Then you're going to pull off to the um, third fret to the open. Then you're going to slide in on the third string from the second to the fourth fret. And then again, you're going to try to get that open B note in there when you do that. Yeah. So then the next part is, you now you're doing on that one is you're sliding in on the third string from the second to the fourth fret, pulling off to the second fret to the open string. And then hitting this uh, E note here at the second fret of the uh, fourth string. Okay, so for then the last part of the lick, all you're doing is that's how it finishes off. So all you're doing there is you're hammering on from the on the fifth string from the open to the second fret. You know, pluck this open D note there on the fourth string. And then you're going to do this pull off, and that is from the on the fifth string from the second fret to the first fret to the open string. Then you're going to do this little quarter step, bend on the third fret of the low E string, and finish off with that open E string. So if we put all those together, so far we've got. Okay, then here's where we kind of come into the little CCR type riff here. Um, so basically all you're doing here is you're going to slide in to this little, on the second, third strings, you're just sliding into this shape here at the um, third fret on the second string, fourth fret on the third string. And that's a typical like bluesy type thing. And that's a typical blues type thing there, just out of the pentatonic scale. Uh, but basically, so you slide in there, and then you do it. You really kind of, and I actually tend to, you can pick it with your hand or with your pick, like that, or you can. 
pick with your pick and a finger on your right hand. It's kind of up to you on what feels good. I think what I'm doing is I pick it with my pick, and then it finishes off with like an open E note on the high E string. Like that. So that kind of, kind of repeats that. And then you're gonna do this. So basically you're doing this little quarter step bend on the third fret of the low E string. Then you hit the E note there at the second fret of the D string. And then you do it again. So, so what that part is basically if we do it, um, put it all together, you got. And again, I'm putting that little e, high E note in there. Um, I think that's the one thing that might make it a little different from the CCR riff, is I, maybe they don't do that. repeats that little uh, riff several times throughout the song in between some of the, the vocal lines. Um, so again, once you have that down, that should uh, be, you know, pretty easy. And I think pretty much the whole song follows a 1-4-5 uh, chord progression in the key of E. So E, A, and B, respectively. Um, but pretty much that's it. So I'll just, again, I'll do this one time again for you really slow um, from the beginning. thing I will mention is to me it sounds like he's using um, the out of phase position like on a Strat guitar and or he also has like similar to this guitar um, he has a middle pickup in his Telecaster and he has a blend knob where he uh, Brent Mason can blend in these two pickups to give it more of a Strat type sound but to me it definitely has that um, that quacky Strat uh, that quacky out of, uh, out of phase position, number two position, uh, Strat sound. So if you have a choice, if you have a Stratocaster, put it in the number two position, and or if you've got like a uh, Nashville style telly, again, it would either be in the two position or blend in some of that middle pickup to give it more, a little bit more of the quack. So, but pretty much that's about it. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Again, if you like this type of videos, I have plenty more free videos at my website listed here below in the description box. Go there and check it out, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.